So I've been in 10th grade for almost over 13 months considering the fact that we started early and the board exams ended late. Throughout the course of these 13 months, I've made several study vlogs and I've learned a lot throughout this journey and I wish to impart my knowledge to the upcoming 10th graders. So here are some tips. So writing down quick notes and sticking them in front of you makes you see them every day, you know, especially when you're sitting down to study. All these notes get imprinted in my brain, which makes me easy to remember the formulas when I write them in the exam. This tip is entirely English specific and that is do not read summaries, instead read character analysis and plot analysis. This helps in critical analysis of the character and the theme of the lesson which helps you frame your answers in a much better language and also go into the depth of the character's thoughts and you know their uh, personality. I don't know how many people do this but I study by writing. If I study a particular line in the textbook and like if it's really important or I feel like I'm definitely going to forget this, write it down. Now many of you have asked me is does a writing board which I use actually take down notes and you know save them. No it doesn't, it just erases off. Then what's the point of writing? Because I'm learning when I'm writing and this is my personal method but some of you can you know visualize it, it totally depends on your way of studying. Now this is definitely my most favorite tip out of them all because I've been able to actually taste success through this and that is frequent knowledge testing. Now you've got to keep testing whatever you learned. Now it, it's not like you keep reading a chapter then another chapter then another chapter. No, that's not how it works. You've got to read and write at the same time. Now all these blue books that you see, these registers are my writing practices throughout the year i've used so many and this is just some the rest is in my other you know old notebooks which had extra pages now you've got to write whether you see some guidebooks or anything you have to write 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 now funny as it may sound i've never compromised sleep and i'm someone who sleeps at least 10 hours a day you know if um, i don't get enough sleep because of school i come home after school and take at least a two or three hours nap now you may feel like this reduces your study time but actually it enhances the quality of study even if the time is less remember quality over quantity so sleep well and study effectively <music> What I'm saying right now might seem totally ridiculous to you, but I'm going to guarantee that throughout this year of 10th grade, you might cry several times, you might lose faith several times and feel like everything is falling apart and then you don't belong, everyone can study, everyone in YouTube is like perfect, I'm not, no even I'm not, trust me, I've had like such bad days in 10th grade and I still have them but I think those bad days will pass, everything will pass good or bad so just have faith, patience and you might not score amazingly well in your first exams, trust me I used to make so many mistakes but throughout the year I I've perfected myself and you, when you keep reading that book automatically every school is going to test you a lot especially during 10th grade so when you keep reading you'll keep you know learning those mistakes and you'll get more perfect by the end of the year.